Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? Root 15 plus root 35 plus root 21 plus 5 all over root 3 plus 2 root 5 plus root 7. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, let's solve the numerator first. So from the numerator, we have, from the numerator, we have root 15 plus root 35 plus root 21 plus 5. So we can simplify this and then this will become root 15 can be written as root 3 times 5 then plus root 35 can be written as root 5 times 7 plus also root 24 1 can be written as 3 times 7 then plus 5 then from here we can separate this numbers inside roots and we, this will become root 3 multiplied by root 5 then plus here root 5 multiplied by root 7 then plus root 3 multiplied by root 7 then 5 can be written as root 5 multiplied by root 5 then also we can rearrange this from here so when we rearrange and then we write in the next step we have root 3 times root 5 then plus 3 root 3 times root 7 root 3 times root 7 so we separate this and this together then plus root 5 times root 7 then plus root 5 times root 5 then grouping these two to now what is common here is root 3 Taking root 3 out, we have root 5 left here, then plus root 7 left here. Also, what is common here is root 5. Taking root 5 out, we have root 7 plus root 5 here. Looking at this, we have the same number inside bracket, just that root 7 is written first here. So, we can still say we have five, root 5 plus root 7 common. Then take it out. What is left here is root 3. Then what is left here is root 5. So we have the numerator simplified this way. Then the denominator also we have on the denominator. We have root 3 plus 2 root 5 plus root 7. Here we can separate 2 root 5 as root 5 plus root 5. And this will become root 3 plus root 5 plus root 5 then plus root 7 and when we group this to two like this that means we have the denominator simplified this way then the whole expression now can be written and then this is denominator this is the sorry this is numerator this is denominator so when we write the whole expression now we have root 5 plus root 7 then multiply by root 3 plus root 5 which is being divided by root 3 plus root 5 then plus root 5 plus root 7 from here let's call this x let's say x equals to this and then from here let's use a letter to represent each of these brackets so let a be equals to root 5 plus root 7 and then from here b be equals to root 3 plus root 5 and by the time we write this in term of a and b so x will then be equals to a times b that's a b divided by we have b here that's b plus a and then when we take the reciprocal on both sides we can say this is x now so this will now be 1 over x equals to reciprocal on this side that's b plus a over a b and when we separate this into two fractions we can say this is 1 over x 
equals to here we have 1 over a because b over a b, b cancel b that's 1 over a plus here we have 1 over what? b then from here we cannot substitute the value of a and b from here we can substitute the value of a and b then here we have 1 over x then become 1 over fi root 5 plus root 7 then plus 1 over b that's 1 over root 3 plus root 5 and here we have these two solve here we can rationalize each of these then bring it together now then when we rationalize the first solve here we have 1 over root 5 plus root 7 so when we rationalize this we multiply by the conjugate of this which is root 5 minus root 7 and also divide by the conjugate which is root 5 minus root 7 and when we simplify what we have here will now be when we multiply this 3 root 5 minus root 7 then divide by these are conjugate so, so when we multiply it the same thing as root 5 square minus root 7 square which is 5 minus 7 which will give us minus 2 there is equals to root 5 minus root 7 over minus 2 in which we can you know multiply by minus and this will give us root 7 minus root 5 over 2 so the first so here we can write it simply as root 7 minus root 5 over 2 then also when we rationalize the second fraction here we have from here we have 1 over root 3 plus root 5 so when we rationalize this as well we multiply by the conjugate sort that's root 3 minus root 5 over root 3 minus root 5 then from here this multiply 1 still the same thing as root 3 minus root 5 then divided by these are also conjugate so, so it's like we have root 3 square which is 3 then minus root 5 square which is 5 then 3 minus 5 that's minus 2 as well so when minus multiply this and rearrange it's still the same thing as root 5 then minus root 3 over 2 so now the second so there is written as simply root 5 minus root 3 over 2 then when we rewrite that now that means the right hand side become 1 over x will now be equal to root 7 minus root 5 over 2 then plus root 5 minus root 3 over 2 here we have 2 the LCM so 2 here we have 2 this is root 7 minus root 5 then plus root 5 minus root 3 then this is 1 over x equals to this here minus root 5 cancel plus root 5 then by the time we look at this we have 1 over x now equals to root 7 minus root 3 over 2 then from here this is 1 over x and we are looking for x of course this is now reciprocal again we have x now equals to 2 over root 7 minus root 3 and uh, this is also sort here in the denominator we can multiply by conjugate sort which is root 7 plus root 3 in order to rationalize over root 7 plus root 3 and by the time we do that, 2 we multiply this and still 2 we open the bracket or we can just write it as 2 into bracket root 7 plus root 3 then divide by these are also conjugate so here root 7 square that is simply 7 minus root 3 square that is 3 which we can write as x equals to 2 root 7 plus root 3 then all over 7 minus 3 that's 4 so we can say 2 go here 1 2 go here 2 
and therefore x equals to root 7 plus root 3 over 2 and the desired solution we are looking for is therefore root 7 plus root 3 over 2 thank you for watching subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now